In this tutorial, let's create this very simple and interesting animation inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. Hey guys, I am Vikash for SkylineMotions.com and without any further ado, let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so first of all, we have to do some basic settings. So click on this setting button and uh, set the size of this project 1920 by 1080. And I'm going to go with 30 or 60 frame per second. So let's go with 30 frame per second and set this playback frame rate 30 and click on save. And now I'm going to create this animation inside of the fusion page. So we have to take a new fusion composition. So just go to this media pool, right click on that and click on this new fusion composition and let's call it fusion comp and set this frame rate 30 and duration make it three second and click on create and just drag this fusion comp on the timeline just like that and then go to your fusion page and here we get media out node so just drag this media out to the side for now and click on this single viewer and go to this media pool and let's import an image file so just right click on that and uh, go to import media and select this dot png file that i have created in photoshop if you are familiar with the photoshop then you can create this uh, image very easily and if you don't want to create this uh, image then go to the link in the description and download this dot png file and click on open and just drag this dot png file on this flow window and close this media pool and just drag it to the viewer and as you can see it's looking like this and i'm going to use this uh, dots as a led light so just drag it over here and let's convert it into 3d so click on this image plane 3d and hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and let's call it image hit ok and let's connect this uh, png file with this uh, image and drag this image to the viewer and now we are in 3d viewport so hold alt and middle mouse button and drag your mouse to rotate this viewport in 360 and hold control and scroll up to zoom in scroll down to zoom out and hold only middle mouse button and pan this viewport left right top and bottom all right and now i'm going to create a terminal kind of uh, shape so we have to create multiple copy of this uh, dot image so just select this image hit ctrl c to copy and hit ctrl v to paste and connect the output of this image with this uh, second image and let's merge this both output so in this case we have to take a new 3d merge node so click on this merge button and add a 3d merge and attach this image with this and attach this image one with this and drag this merge 3d to the viewer all right and now i'm going to create a distance between these images so select this image one and just drag it like this and create a distance between each images so select this and go to this uh, transform and uh, let's create a gap of uh, negative 0.2 and uh, hit enter and now do the same thing and create multiple copy of this dots and create a terminal kind of a shape so just uh, hit ctrl v to paste attach this output with this and attach this output with this merge 3d and select this image go to this uh, transform and set this z value negative 0.4 hit enter and now Right click on this flow window, go to arrange tool and turn on this grid snapping for better nodes arrangement and snap this node on the grid just like that. All right, and then hit control V to paste and do the same thing. Just connect the output with this and connect this output with this merge 3D and select this third image. And right now we have negative 0.4. So select this image and go to transform and set this value negative 0.6 and hit enter. All right. And as you can see, it's looking like this and do the same thing and create multiple copy of this. So I'm going to do this in fast forward.
all right and just drag it like this and as you can see we have a led terminal and finally let's convert this 3d into 2d so we have to add a render 3d node so click on this button and add a render 3d node and connect the output of this merge 3d with this render 3d and uh, click on this double viewer and just drag this merge 3d to the viewer and drag this render 3d in this viewer and now we have to take a new camera so take a new 3d camera place it like this and attach this camera 3d with this merge 3d all right and now i'm going to animate this camera so set this camera just like that and go to this transform and set this uh, z translation value 1.5 hit enter and as you can see it's looking like this and let's animate the camera so right click on g translation click on animate and uh, sorry go to the end of this animation first and right click on z translation click on set key and go to very beginning of this animation and set this value uh, something around negative 0.5 hit enter all right and as you can see we have a nice camera animation and go to spline window and let's create a smooth animation so hit f4 to full screen and check this camera check this g offset click on fit button and select these both keyframes hit s to smooth and set the cti at very beginning of this animation hold this uh, handle and just drag it like this and hold this handle also and just set this handle over here and create a nice smooth curve and close this spline window all right and now we have a smooth camera animation now i'm going to create a text so we have to take a new 3d text node click on this button and add a 3d node and connect the output of this text 3d with this merge 3d all right and select this text 3d and let's type over here whatever you want to type And in this case, I'm using a font style a prestige signature script. And of course, you can choose any different font style that you want. And now set the size of this uh, text 0.5, hit enter. And uh, set this line of spacing uh, something around 0.7, hit enter. All right. And now set this text in center. So just drag it like this and uh, go to this uh, transform and set this y translation value negative 0 0.15 hit enter and now i'm going to set this uh, text inside of the terminal over here maybe and uh, set this uh, z translation value negative 1.15 hit enter and as you can see we have only one output here but i want to create two different output the first one for this led terminal and second one for this text so we have to take a new merge 3d node click on this merge button and add a merge 3d node and uh, just deattach this text and place this merge 3d over here and connect this text with this merge and we have to take one more render 3d node so select this merge 3d click on this render 3d and uh, now i'm going to use same camera for this text and uh, this tunnel so connect the output of this uh, camera with this second merge after that we have to take one more render 3d node so take a render 3d just like that and connect the output of this merge 3d with this render 3d and I'm going to create a circular mask animation for this terminal. So just take a ellipse mask and connect this ellipse with this render 3D. And let's animate this uh, ellipse. So just set this value 0 0.35, hit enter and set this uh, height value 0 0.35 and hit enter and let me tell you guys i don't want to animate width and height separately so i'm gonna parent this height with this width so right click on this height click on this expression and let's attach this height with this width and now we have to animate this width only all right so just set this value 
0.35 hit enter and go to very beginning of this animation and uh, click on this diamond button to create a keyframe or you can also right click on this width and click on animate all right and uh, go to 30 frame forward in time which is equal to one second and just set this value one and hit enter and go to one frame forward in time on frame number 31 and again set this value 0 0.35 and hit enter all right and now go to 30 frame forward in time on frame number 60 which is equal to two second and again set this value one and hit enter and now go to one frame forward in time and set this value 0 0.35 and hit enter and finally go to the end of this animation and again set this value one hit enter and now i'm going to create a duplicate of this ellipse mask so select this ellipse hit ctrl c to copy and paste another copy of this ellipse and hold shift on the keyboard and attach this second ellipse just like that and now let's subtract this ellipse from this one so select this and uh, go to this uh, inspector window and go to this paint mode and change this to subtract and make this uh, ellipse smaller so just go to very beginning of this animation where we have created a keyframe and select this uh, second ellipse and let's down this width and height value so right now we have 0 0.35 so set this value 0 0.3 all right and now go to on frame number 30 where we have created a keyframe and uh, for this one set this value 0 0.9 hit enter and now go to one frame forward in time and again set this value 0 0.3 and uh, just go to on frame number 60 again set this value 0 0.9 hit enter go to one frame forward in time and set this worth value 0.3 and now go to the end of this animation and set this value 0 0.9 instead of this value 1. And as you can see, we get this type of uh, animation. All right. And now let's add some feather. So select this ellipse and go to this uh, inspector window and set this soft edge value 0 0.02. Hit enter and select this another ellipse and set the softness value 0 0.02 hit enter all right and we have two outputs here the first one is looking like this and the second one is looking like this and now let's merge both the output so we have to take a 2d merge and uh, connect this yellow background point with this uh, mask render 3d node and uh, connect this green foreground point with this uh, normal 3d render and just drag this merge one to the viewer and select this merge and go to this inspector window and set this blend value something around 0 0.1 hit enter and finally let's merge this text with this uh, terminal so we have to take one more 2d merge and connect this yellow point with this merge one and green point with this render 3d and just drag this merge two to the viewer and now let's add a black background with this so we have to take a new background node drag it like this and as you can see we have a black background and now let's merge it so take a merge 3d node and connect this yellow point with this black background and connect this green with this merge two and we get this type of output now let's create a glow effect so select this final output hit ctrl plus a spacebar for search box and search for glow effect and select this glow node hit add button and drag this to the viewer and we get this type of output now let's create a light leak effect so we have to take a fast noise node hit ctrl plus a spacebar for search box and search for fast noise and select this fast noise node hit add button and place it over here drag this fast noise on this viewer and uh, let's do some settings so set this detail value to contrast one and let's down this brightness and set this value negative 0 0.8 hit enter and uh, set this scale value one hit enter and now let's animate this seat value so just go to the end of this animation 
and set this seat value negative two and hit enter and uh, let's animate the seat value so right click on seat click on animate and go to very beginning of this animation and uh, set this seat value something around zero hit enter and now let's merge this fast noise with the glow so take a 2d merge and uh, connect this yellow background point with this glow and green foreground point with this fast noise and drag this merge forward to the viewer and uh, click on this fit button and we get this type of effect and click on this single viewer all right and now let's add some color so just take a color corrector node after this uh, merge four and connect this just like that and drag this color to the viewer and let's pick a nice color all right and uh, now let's animate the color also so go to the end of this animation and right click on tint click on animate and go to the middle of this animation on frame number 45 and just set this color just like that and go to very beginning of this animation and again set this value just like that and we get this type of uh, output here and finally let's create a light leak kind of uh, effect so right click on this media pool go to import media so i'm going to use this flare which i have given a link in the description so go to the link and download this flare and click on open and drag this flare on this uh, flow window and let's merge it so i'm going to use this uh, color corrector output as a background and this one as a foreground so connect this foreground with the background and we get this new merge and just drag this merge 5 to the viewer and uh, let's set it just like that set this scale value to hit enter and uh, just set this lens flare like this and now let's make this black background transparent so select this merge and go to this inspector window and change this apply mode normal to a screen and we get this type of output and finally let's connect the media out with the main output so this is our media out node just drag it like this and attach this media out with our main output just like that and then go to your edit tab and now let's create one more thing just go to this uh, timeline and go to output blanking and click on this option 2.35 and create a cinematic aspect ratio just like that all right and it's almost done so go to very beginning of this animation click on this loop button and let's have a look all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when i will upload my new video and i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye